will soon have melted the polar ice caps. The oceans of the Earth will rise and cover the globe. <laughs> and when the people of Earth find themselves walking in water, then they will bow to the rule of primeval. <laughs> you bet you magnificent one. They'll give you a warm welcome. <laughs> The ghost dragon works quickly. The waters of Earth must be rising already. I wonder how soon it will be noticed. <laughs> Want a hamburger, Jake? Uh, no thanks, Eddie. Looks pretty greasy. Greasy hamburgers are the best kind. They slide down so easily. <laughs> Maybe so, Eddie. But it looks sort of dangerous. You could start a... Yahoo! Grease fire! Good, give me that! No, Eddie, not water! Oh, no! no. <laughs> Water won't work on a grease fire. The oil floats on the water. You have to use an extinguisher. Or, in an emergency, you can use baking soda or salt. I didn't know that. Glad you were here, Jake. No problem, dude. You okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, just a little breathless. Drink some water. You'll feel better. Good idea. Huh? Jake? Yeah, Eddie, what is it? Couldn't you find the water? No, I, I found water all right. There's a whole ocean full of it outside. What? That's impossible. You must be seeing things. We're in the middle of the, of the city. What? What happened, Jake? Huh? That's what I said. Somehow we've drifted out to sea. Hey, Ghostbusters! Looks like they're all washed up. It's Jessica. Washed away is more like it, Jessica. Where all the water come from? No one knows for sure, but it seems that all the ice at the North Pole is melting. Oh, no, if the North Pole melts, th that means... Exactly, Eddie. The world will be flooded. It couldn't have happened naturally. But if it was done on purpose, who would possibly want to cover the whole world with water? Primeval! Of course. If the world is underwater, Primeval can mop up easily. Not if we can help it. Come on, guys. Into our uniforms! Let's go! Go! Sea covers. Boat mode, GB. There's a whole sea of water out there. Really? Does that mean you're finally giving Tracy a bath? <laughs> Boat mode, motor mouth. I heard 
him, flea bag. Head north, GB. How far north? As far as you can go. the Arctic Ocean, guys. And it looks like the North Pole is definitely melting. What makes you so sure, Eddie? Just a hunch. Water must be getting deep. I wonder how Primeval is doing it. Uh, melting the ice caps, I mean. Oh, I'm not sure, Eddie, but I think the answer could be just ahead. Look, a ghost dragon. That's how Primeval's doing it. Well, at least it's nothing we can't handle. You guys stay here where it's safe. I'll sneak up on that dragon and dematerialize him. Oh, Jake, be careful. That dragon looks dangerous. Don't worry, Jessica. Jake will be fine. Just listen for the dematerializer. There, all over. That dragon is history. <laughs> What happened? Didn't you zap the dragon with the dematerializer? Uh, of course I did. So what went wrong? I missed. You, you missed? missed? But that dragon is the size of a mountain. How could you miss? Hey, so I couldn't get close enough, okay? But Jake, where's the dematerializer now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's eating it! Now we've really got a problem. Well, for that, all right, has my ghost dragon finished melting the polar ice caps yet? <laughs> not yet, oh, masterful one. What? Why not? What's causing the delay? <laughs> Ghostbusters, dead lord! Oh, drat. Well, it's no surprise. Those clowns are always spoiling my fun! I suppose the ghost dragon's been dematerialized by now? No! That at least is good news, your vileness. The Ghostbusters have lost the dematerializer. <laughs> What? That is excellent news! I thought you'd like it, Great One. Now nothing stands in my way! As soon as my dragon finishes melting the ice caps, I shall rule the world! All hail Primeval! <laughs> I wonder how long those bumblers will last against my dragon! Get ready to pump that water, guys! <laughs> now! <laughs> there! That should put out that ghost dragon's fires! <laughs> oh, no! It didn't work, Jake. What do we do now? Uh, run. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tracy. Oops. Yeah! Looks like the Busters are having a hot time of it. We have to do something, GB. Get your super duper snow scooper. Jessica, you too, GB. That sure slowed the dragon down. Yeah, but not for long. This could be our big break. Get in, everybody. GB, follow that dragon. Ah! Ah! I was afraid you'd say that. Jessica. That's why we must stop that ghost dragon. Don't lose him, Tracy. But, Jake, I don't understand. Why would a dragon come all the way out here to refuel? Unless... Hey, look! That ghost dragon's headed for that oil rig. The dragon is drinking thousands of gallons of oil. That's the answer, then. The dragon's fire is fueled by oil. <laughs> oil, of course. That's the reason we couldn't put out his fire with water. You mean the oil is like the grease on my hamburger, Jake? Exactly, Eddie. The oil floats on the surface of the water, so we couldn't use water to fight the dragon. But what can we use? You put out my grease fire with a fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher! Of course! You hit it, Eddie! Let's move, Tracy. Okie dokie. Now, just a cotton-picking minute. Where are we going? <laughs> to a fire extinguisher factory, GB. And hurry, there isn't much time. That's the biggest fire extinguisher we make. It's made to put out forest fires. Will it be big enough? Well, we sure hope so. The flooding's getting serious. You're telling me it's getting really hard to find a parking space around here. I came to work in my boat. Well, good luck, Ghostbusters. We'll mail you the bill. Any sign of the dragon? No. Yes! Down there, Jake. There it is! And hard at work, too. Well, we'll soon take care of that. But how are we going to use the extinguisher to put out the dragon's fire? I've got a plan. You guys just be ready to fire that extinguisher when the dragon opens his mouth. Geronimo! Ha! 
Made it! Now for that dragon. Fortunately, there's a full moon. Wizard Fuddy, hear my plea. I need strength immediately. <laughs> It's strong, not invisible. Oh, 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 darn it. I used the wrong magic wand. Oh. Well, I'll just have to do what I can. How on earth is Jake going to make that dragon open his mouth? I don't know, Jessica, but we have to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Open his mouth! Dive, Tracy, dive! Okay, okay. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Yeah! It's working! Good to you! Boy, I'm sure glad I'm invisible. I'd sure hate to be this close to a dragon if I weren't. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in for a frying time. Hurry, Tracy! <laughs> Bullseye! I'm just in time! Now to see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> That dragon was pure fire. Put out the fire. And there's nothing left. Hey, and look, we even got our dematerializer back. Looks like another happy ending, guys. Well, I don't know, Jake. I bet I know someone who isn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> Bratterat, my magnificent ghost dragon, destroyed. Even now, the ice caps on Earth are reforming. The planet is safe. Once again, my plans have been ruined by those dratted ghost busters. Is anything the matter, glorious one? Those blasted ghost bunglers made me so upset I forgot to eat. I'm starved! Never fear, one just one. I'll cook you up something delicious. <laughs> How about a nice greasy hamburger? <laughs> Was it something I said? In today's story, we saw the Ghostbusters dealing with a fire-breathing dragon. Now, dragons may not be real, but fire definitely is. And as you can see, it's very dangerous. Fire can burn trees and houses and even people. So remember, matches and cigarette lighters are not toys. Anything that makes fire is dangerous, so play it cool. And don't play with matches. You might get hurt very badly. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Bye now.